For tonight, we're all learning more about Friday's murder-suicide in Northport. WVUA's Katie Malone brings us new developments on the investigation. Investigators say that 43-year-old Michael White was shot and killed by his stepmother Friday before she turned the gun on herself. As the investigation continues, a friend of Kathy White is speaking out. And tonight we give you the first look into their lives. Friday was a fateful day in Northport. As investigators are trying to piece together events, friends and family are trying to cope with loss. They lived right beside each other, I know, and so I know it was kind of an ongoing discomfort. I know somebody else that lived in that area and they were not comfortable in that area because of some of the activity that may have been going on. It's our understanding she wanted to confront him and try to make him leave. And, and they had some kind of disagreement which led to her shooting him at that residence. Then she returned back to her residence, which was just a short distance away, and that's where she took her own life. 64-year-old Kathy White was a grandmother, wife, and stepmom. She and Danette Williams were friends for over 15 years. And she was kind and, and she tolerated um, to a point, so I just have to believe that maybe it festered without her realizing, and maybe she felt that everybody was in danger at, at that moment. In domestic situations, you can sometimes have a lot of small events and they will eventually lead to a large event and that may be what we're dealing with here. Michael White was released from jail just days before he was shot and killed. He is survived by his father, Tony, and his two daughters. Tony's a man of faith, you know, and, and he, you only get through things like this with God. So um, he'll need all the help he can get from the community. He doesn't need judgment. Um, he didn't ask for this. No matter the situation, his son is gone. And that's a very painful thing. And not only is his son gone, but his wife is gone. Investigators say there was no indication Kathy White was defending herself at the time of the shooting. At this time, autopsy and toxicology reports are still pending. In Tuscaloosa, Katie Malone, WVUA News.